when it comes to relating records to one another, so records in your database, uh, there's nothing different that needs to happen here, right? You would create a field within the data structure to associate, to relate, right? There's a reference between one entry and either one or more other entries of the same type or of another type. And within the data types, you can relate them to a specific choice or even a list of choices from your option set. Let's go back to our driver data type. Okay, so a driver can be under a specific status. So this field is actually referencing our driver status option set. And the value of this field would be one of those choices. Now take a look at this. You know, with all of your data structures, you can provide a default value if you want. That's an optional thing. Whenever the record is created, uh, you can provide a, a value there so that it starts off with that value so you don't have to build it into the workflow. And with option sets, you'll notice that bubble is displaying my choices that I created in the option set area. It's kind of baked into the editor, which makes it really nice and easy to work with. Now, you can also set this up as a list. Um, so for example, a driver has, uh, if they have a multiple car types that they drive, they have multiple vehicles, you could have a list of car types here. This is another option set with a few different choices, okay? So data types can relate, and, and oftentimes you're going to use it in this way, uh, to option set choices like this, okay? So you just create another field for it. Now, on the flip side, option sets, through their attributes, can also relate to other option sets. Um, for example, if we have a you know limited list of hobbies here, I could create an attribute, let's say called sub hobby uh, or maybe sub hobbies, right? One hobby can be broken down into subcategories. So this would be a list of other hobby records in my same um, option set list. So I would simply manage that in the custom attributes to relate one to another or one to many. So you can create relationships between option sets. What you cannot do in the option set is relate a choice to a record in your database, okay? Because that's not really how you want this to work. You look at this as like your catalog of items, right? This should not be unique to a user or unique to a specific record in your database. These are simply lists of choices. So if you need to relate a user or any of your custom records to a choice, you're going to do that on the other side. Okay, you can get any kind of relationship you want, mixing and matching, matching both of these things. Just make sure that you structure it properly so that when you're relating a data type to an option set, you're actually doing it from this side. Okay, so those are the differences between the two, but you can do relationships on both ends.